This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I disable sub-palette pop-up after storing my config? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the dog model here loaded in. And the question is asking about the preference option called sub-palette pop-up. So if I navigate to my preferences panel up here and open this up and then go to interface and then open up sub palette pop-up, there is now a button here that will allow you to enable this option. Now what this option does is it's going to hide all the sub palettes that are currently displayed except for the one you currently have selected. So if I come over here and turn this on, you'll see that each one of these things now has this little arrow. And so if I close the preferences and now go back into preferences, you're gonna see that's only going to show one of the sub palettes. So currently it's only showing config. Now this effect is gonna take place over the entire ZBrush UI. So if I go to the tool palette over here, you can see the sub tool palette is visible, but if I scroll down, you'll see all the other palettes are currently hidden. So if I wanna switch from the sub tool palette to the geometry palette, you just need to come across where it says sub tool, click on this, and then now I'll get a list. I can now select geometry, and now it's only going to display the geometry palette. And then if I wanna see the texture palette and click on that again, then choose texture map. And now it's only gonna show the texture map. And so this is what the function is going to do. So it's going to only show one sub palette at the time. So let's say you like this option and you like having it enabled. So you'd wanna store it. So you go to your preferences up here and you do a store config. And this should now remember that setting. And now let's say I restart ZBrush. And now I kind of want to change it back. So I messed with it some, you know, maybe I liked it for a little while. Maybe I want to go back to the way it was originally. So I'd come back up to the preferences tab up here. I'd click on config. I'd go back to the interface area. I'd go to that sub palette pop-up area here. And I just turn this off. But now you'll see it's disabled, but my interface options did not go back to their normal usage. So the geometry palette over here is now just geometry. I can't get to the subtool palettes. If I go back to preferences, I can only see the interface area. So how can I revert the UI back to the way it was after I've enabled this sub palette pop-up? So what you need to do is we just need to make sure we have the config area showing at the same time this interface area is showing. And then we can store the config and then it's gonna remember that the sub palette pop-up feature is turned off. And then the next time we start ZBrush, our UI is gonna go back to normal. So I'm gonna turn back on the sub palette pop-up. And you can see now I get the little arrow icons at the top here. And now I click back on interface. And now I get a list of all these things here. And now I wanna hover over the config section. And before I click on this, I wanna make sure I hold down the shift key. And now when I click on config, I should now have the config and also the interface option displayed. So now if I go back down here and disable sub palette pop-up, you'll see that the config area is still visible. And now I can click the store config button. So now what this is going to do, it's going to store the option of the sub palette pop-up being disabled. And now after I store that, I can now restart ZBrush. After ZBrush has restarted, you'll see that all the menus here are back to normal. So to recap, if you've gone to preferences and you've went to the interface area here and then enabled sub palette pop-up, and then you've gone through and you've stored the config, which is locked in that setting, and then you find out that you may want to revert back to the original setting where it was disabled. You just need to go back to the preferences palette. Make sure you click on the words of the visible sub palette. Select interface. And then here's that sub palette pop-up button there. And then we need to click on interface again. And then this time we need to hold down shift and then now click on the config area. So we see both the config area and the interface area. And then now we can disable the sub palette pop-up and then store the config again, and then that will now remember the sub palette pop-up setting, and then the next time you start ZBrush, the sub palette pop-up will be disabled, and ZBrush should return back to normal. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!